I'm Billy, and uh, this is the Subways in the studio in Brussels. Um, this is our setup. This is the computer and Pro Tools unit down there. That's where the magic happens. Edit, mix. Uh, Charlotte's played a few songs on this piano here. Not quite as sad though, is it? As C sharp minor seven. <laughs> um, organ, Fender Rhodes, microphone, Popper Shield, especially for me because I. Um, got a couple of amps in here, Black Star, uh, JMI, which is uh, uh, which is the company that used to build Vox. Um, all the leads over here, so the room's all nicely treated, which is like a massive comparison to my second bedroom, which I used to mix in. The drummer in the corner. Hey Charlotte, hello. 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 Right, I'm just showing people around. Should we show them the coffee unit? Okay. This is the most important part of the studio. Right, we've got a lump of equipment out here, but this is the best part, like coffee, you can just go, Ugh. usually it's me who leaves the last one in there, and you just make coffee, like this, this is magic, am I about it right? No, there we go. Whilst that makes, <laughs> I'll show you the live room, quickly. Cool, this is where Josh records his drums, and this is where we rehearse the songs, watch out, you might just play that. See, everything's all mic'd up, magic-like. Um, yeah, one of these mics was used for percussion because Josh found this amazing shaker and we thought, we've got to use this. Uh, that's a really old Vox amp that Charlotte used to record some of her bass parts. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I'm going to steal it. There's loads of equipment around here. <laughs> um, that's the control room, which we've not actually used because we've got our own little control room in there. We're doing it very sort of DIY, aren't we? Yeah. Very we, just, we use that for sleeping in between. Yeah, it just goes in there and sort of plays acoustic and then naps a little bit and then plays on his Vita like FIFA. Um, should we quickly show the all the equipment, like the equipment stores? Okay. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually just walking around in barefoot. I'm so, I just make myself at home in the studio. Very so. Look at this. This is all at our disposal as well. This is absolutely amazing. We've got some cracking guitars down here, but um, being a nervous Nelly, I'm actually quite I'm too nervous, nervous to pick them up. Yeah, they, they, those sparky ones are like really amazing. There's a Mos right, which Kurt Cobain used on the bleach. Show us that. That's this one here. I've always wanted one of these. Like, ever, ever since I got into Nirvana, I've always like, oh, I want to get a Mos right. But you can never really sort of import any of them from America, where I lived. But, oh my god, it's so cracky and cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's also a Fender Jaguar, which like, is absolutely amazing. I've got to use this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Just look at it. <laughs> That's the whole album there. <laughs> cool. Put that down very neatly, because it's there. Yes, that stuff. Right, we've got all the amps over here. A lot of them are Vox, which is awesome, because I love using Vox. We've got Vox. Kendrick, never had an M, looks good though. Crate, ah, that was like the first amp I ever had was a crate. How cool is that? Do you remember my crate? Yeah. The cream coloured one. And then I sold it for that box. Um, these are all good. There's a max lift around the corner, which I really want to use, because we used a max lift on the first record, didn't we? Yeah. Ian Brody introduced me to max lifts, and it's kind of, you know, max lifts. Um, <laughs> yeah, these are cases. I don't know how interesting these are, but yeah, you know. They're kind of interesting cases, a little bit. So we've got, we got bass amps over this way. Ba well, they, the cabs over here, you've got the heads over here, and then you've got the combos over there. So much stuff. Yeah, you've got, like, all the, you've got a Wurlitzer. They, they said we can use all this stuff, it's so cool. Wurlitzers, it's got, yeah, loads of organs up here. We're going to have to use some of these, just because they're here. <laughs> it's going to make us sound like loads of noises. Like spinal tap, that'd be so good. Like we so have a keyboardist with like using two hands and then feet. Like that. Well, we do have a road solo on one song purely because it was there. Yeah, it was like let's do a solo on the road. <laughs> um, James Brown. That's actually like we always mention James Brown a couple of times. Like Bill and John, who run the studio. Like he, he mentioned like he keep mentioning. I think he really really likes James Brown. And the Wi-Fi pa uh, password is James, is James Brown. So. There's something going on there. Uh, all these snares and stuff, these just look absolutely amazing. Um, this is a 
in Josh's sort of area, though. I'm, I look at this stuff and I just go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, like there's usually a guy sat there, like I think monitoring all this stuff, like making sure no one steals it, because obviously there's like probably like a million pounds worth of equipment in this one room. But uh, yeah. And we're gonna post it on YouTube. <laughs> I have a buddy, let's run! <laughs> I feel guilty doing that. <laughs>